Uh, I started playing football since Peewee, since I was a kid, probably six or seven. Ever since then, then Pop Warner, and then Travel Leagues, and then into middle school and high school. I grew up playing baseball and basketball, but uh, as soon as I got to the age, put on pads, I fell in love with it. I mean, just contact. I, it was the only sport I really cared about after that. What I like about football is just the atmosphere. Uh, it's outside, it's between the lines, uh, it, and it's a significant team sport. I mean, uh, you know, in other sports you can have one dominant player, but with football you have to have camaraderie and a team effort to truly be good and successful. I played uh, high school football um, three out of the four years. Uh, my freshman year was cut short, we were 5-0. and but uh, the DC sniper happened, so our uh, season got cut short. My sophomore year, I made varsity. Um, <clears throat> I lettered. My junior year, my parents were going through a uh, separation, so I didn't make camp. And then I came back my senior year, and I started my senior year and played the whole entire season. Our senior year, we uh, definitely flipped it around. Uh, we just had a group of guys that were just focused, and we were committed to the weight rooms, and uh, we had a strong defense. We moved to recover too. And, I uh, had a handful of picks, some pick sixes, um, some kickoff returns, uh, a lot of catches. I did uh, field goal holding. <laughs> I played backup quarterback, uh, cornerback, free safety, wide receiver. Four days after I graduated, my dad had passed away, so it was kind of like a culture shock of where exactly I needed to go with my life. And uh, I didn't know what was gonna happen, so school really wasn't my priority. And so what I did was I just enlisted in the military shortly after and uh, went off to basic, I joined the army. At the age of 19, I was shipped off to Iraq. So right after I graduated, I went to basic and right off to war. And I did a year in Afghanistan um, where I was wounded. <laughs> I was hit pretty good in Afghanistan at the age of 21. I got shrapnel in both my legs and peppered in my neck and a bullet fragment of something through my shoulder. unconventional workouts. I actually started when I was in Afghanistan. Um, we didn't have shit out there. You know, we were eating one meal a day. We were fighting daily. It came down to it where we were filling up ammo cans and curling them. And I just kind of used that and brought that back. And it was just kind of more of like a centered on me and gravity and balance. And it just made me, it, it, it made me faster, it made me stronger. I started jumping high, you know, just everything started coming together when I started using my body weight as compared to just lifting. And uh, that's why I'm the only one really doing it in the gym because I believe in it and I think that it shows for itself. The reason I decided to play football again is it's never lost me. It's something that I've always been passionate about. I felt that I'm just an athlete. That's what I was my whole life and there's no reason for me to give up on a dream that I can make a reality. And I would be deployed and we would just talk about it and I'd say, you know, when I get out of the army, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to walk on and I promised one of my best friends I would. And uh, he was killed in action in front of me. So I had to <clears throat> send him home in a body bag, but uh, just kind of thrive off that and do it for him and all my other friends that have lost me. I want to play again, I want, man, the goals I'm trying to accomplish are just, just prove to myself that I'm still physically fit. I want to prove to people that I've told that, you know, kind of snared at the fact that I'm 23 and I'm just now going back to school. I want to just achieve and what I work, wake up every morning for, every time I tie my shoes, every time I go to a workout, it's just, I'm giving it everything I've got. And I want to achieve and be successful on that, you know. I believe hard work pays off. I definitely think that uh, character, it comes with leadership and 
you can't just step into any facility and expect people to respect you. You have to show your way. You have to you have to show that you care, that you're giving it everything, that you are a committed player, that you are you are good. Uh, but for me, I think once I prove that, which I'm capable of doing, I think that my story and background is very, very unique. I mean, from a motivational standpoint, there was 40 Americans and we were overrun by 400 Taliban. That in itself, I'm walking proof that you can overcome things, great obstacles, and I just don't give up. I never believe in quitting, and I think that bringing that attitude to a locker room and that environment, I'm somebody that you can definitely feed off my enthusiasm. And I, I'm not 18, you know, I'm not a kid, I'm not coming out of high school. I've, uh, I've been through some worldly events and it's definitely a, definitely a maturity factor that I've, that a barrier that I'm over. And, and it's not an egotistic way, it's just that when I come into the locker room, uh, if you give me a chance to play on your team, then I'm, I'm definitely going to show that and I am there to play. If I was given the chance to play in a game, uh, before that game, what's going through my head is just, just um, gratitude. I think uh, I would truly be grateful for whoever gave me that opportunity, and uh, just emotional, more so as well as just being able to say that you know I did it for my friends that were killed. You know, I did it for myself. I did it for people who didn't believe in me. That you know, it's kind of like here I am. People that truly commit themselves and believe that they can do it, you know, you got to follow your dreams. So uh, that should be going through my head, and I'd probably be smiling every play. So that'd be pretty cool.